Okay, welcome back. Uh, when we left off, I was doing something important. Ah, right, I found the shard. Okay. And I was thinking about skipping class because school is... Oh, God, I hate school. Okay. And we came from that way. Things were starting to shake. Okay. I thought there was another door over here. Obviously not. Let's go up the spiral staircase. Going up. Going up. Going up the stairs, going down the stairs, going up the stairs, going down the stairs, going up the stairs, going down the stairs, going up the stairs, going up My god. It's hard to walk up these things. It's James Madison. Nope, never mind. And it's Jesus. Interesting. Okay. That guy. Oh, can't go that way. A vase. There's gotta be something good in there. Let's break it. Nope. <gasps> Tinder box. Yes. A rope. Of course. this oil yes oh yes it's in here one of those things and a note okay so picked up string notes on torture there are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans have all a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creatures can break out of fits and violence. Where their strength exceeds their expected power prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victims, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceeding by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, and it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Therefore, or before this happens, feed them the amnesia. Ho oh, ho ho, drink, and they will. And try again later. Okay. So. Boop. Is it you, my love? I miss the most. Or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Interesting. Okay. Thank you for protecting me, Mr. Chair, but you are done here. Okay. -na 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 -na. Oh, wow, it's a lot easier to go down than it was to go up. Awesome. Okay, so where was the exit? This way? Nope. That way. <laughs> to the nave! Carefully cutting the man open made him think. This is how father must feel about his craft. Being an artisan, relying on one skill to perform something so delicate grants a certain form of pride.
Ah, you get it. You seem to have found all the all pieces used in the transfer. Go to the choir and find the rest. Can be found in the choir. <gasps> that must be this way. Another one of those things, cool. Slip. Slip. Oh, it's in the box. Slip. A grip of channels way here. Where wants me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for and for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Weyer claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he can help. So he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part with from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Wyatt told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer of Vitae and Tamta. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile ground for this sort. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The Vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tamto, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it is a property of the secretion in the water dwelling carrying. I will have to address Wyo with this, as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a property prepared, properly prepared well should suffice to contain- <gasps> Hey! I found a well! In court, the Order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Forgot ten? Forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one in the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away while I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish. So you are immortal. I knew it. Hey! Hey, dude! Dude! Hey! I found a letter. Our things coming. Incredible. You found my recipe. That there might still be a chance. Ow. Listen Sorry. Carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate. A door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate then. Please, find the ingredients and prepare the tonic by a disguise. And do so before you assemble the all. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the all, you won't be able to save me. Memo. Fine, dude. I'll see what I can do. Such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer on their departure as they are nothing but a burden of mankind. They shall not be missed. Definitely don't need that in here. 
Hello, rooms. A note. Ah! 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. Oh. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man. Cut the lines. Cut the flesh. Watch the blood spill. Let it come. Please, I didn't do anything. Take the man. Cut the lines. Take the man. Cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Well, that was well, creepy. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Uh. Why did that door just open on its own? Freaking creepy. Maybe she knows. <laughs> Tin the box. After the men had secured the prisoner, the ritual began. gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus rose oil. Um. Alright, well. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours. But now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. That's about 15-ish minutes. So, I gotta cut it off. Uh, next time, we will do the choir room. Uh, I'm Yasek. You have been watching. Congratulations. Goodbye.